Hi fellow birdies and welcome back to another edition of Some Birds Eating Show. In today's video we're going to be doing another what I eat today and I know you guys enjoy these so much so we're going to be showcasing what I would eat say if I'm not filming a video. Are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get started with breakfast. For breakfast I'm going to be enjoying a bowl of Greek yogurt with this delicious blueberry almond crunch cereal. Now I found this at Costco a few weeks ago it was on sale. And the cool thing I like about it, of course, is no added sugar and it's sweetened with fruits. So I haven't actually tried this yet though. So we're gonna see how I like it and do a taste test at the same time. <laughs> so let's go eat breakfast, guys. All right, guys, so here we are with a delicious bowl of Greek yogurt in Syria. So let's go ahead and try a bite. Goes good. And by the way, the Greek yogurt that I use for this is um, Chobani whole milk. I typically use like Varium, Chobani. Um, I of course I use generic brand too, but whole milk is the best type of Greek yogurt. But the cereal is not overly sweet. So it's like it's sweetened with the fruit. And um, I definitely taste the almonds. The almonds is the definitive taste of this. But what I like about this is that since the Greek yogurt is not so sweet, it's like more tart. And it doesn't, you know, it really mixes better with the um, sweet cereal. So this is great. Now I don't have like Greek yogurt cereal balls too often, but this makes me maybe want to enjoy them more. They also have other different kinds of cereals too. Um, the one that I did try by them before was the Cinnamon Raisin Crunch, and that was pretty good too. Oh hey, I forgot to mention, this is also organic. <laughs> we got a lot of vitamins and minerals, a lot of protein, so this is definitely a good way to start your day. All right, y'all, it's about lunchtime now, and I think I'm gonna make my favorite thing for lunch typically, which is a smoothie. Now, I've been using this new protein powder for the last couple few weeks, and I really like it. It's got actually vegetables in it as well, and it also has some probiotics, so it's definitely really good for your digestive system. And it looks like it's got like, you know, sprouted green rice, spinach, chaya, or, alfalfa grass broccoli so this is like a whole bunch of goodies in one thing so we're gonna make our protein smoothie using this and i'm also gonna be adding some unsweetened coconut milk and banana and peanut butter we'll be back with you guys soon all right guys i'm now back with my smoothies you can see out right here it's nice and thick and let's test it out it has such a pleasant vanilla flavor to it like if you were to tell me there were vegetables in this i would have no idea about it before that that's how like hidden the vegetables are but i really like this protein powder because it's got all those nutrients and stuff in it plus the banana and peanut butter in it like i mainly taste the vanilla but i do taste a little bit of the banana and a little bit of the peanut butter, but the main part is the vanilla, for sure. So this is one of the best protein powders I've ever used, honestly. We're also going to have some strain cheese for lunch as well. Honestly, I'll tell you guys a funny story. Like, the very first time that I ever had, like, strain cheese was when I was 18. I waited all those years to finally try it out. Because I never understood what the craze about it was, but, like, look at that. Look how strainy that is. You just pull it apart and eat it. That's supposed to be the fun thing about it. There's like people just pulling apart like that. And eating it. So yeah, like, I didn't try this out until I was like an adult, 18. Ever since I've tried them out, I've been hooked. I especially love the mozzarella ones, but they also have Colby Jack. Um, they got cheddar as well. Um, but I just like this one more, like, look at that, <laughs> because 
it has a milder taste to it. So, and you can use this to make homemade mozzarella sticks. One time I used it to make a stuffed crust pizza because you just take the pizza crust and you fold it over these on the edge. So yeah, you can do a whole lot of things with string cheese. All right, it is now dinner time. And for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be having some leftover chili dogs. Now I just put the chili on there, hot dog, and added some shredded cheddar cheese on top and melted that. And we're gonna have a side of these um, Glacier Ranch tortilla chips from Great Value. They are pretty similar to the Cool Ranch Doritos that we like to eat sometimes. We also like the nacho cheese version, but you know, these are, are pretty good. Um, not quite as good as Doritos, but they'll do. So let's go ahead and eat dinner. Here is the delicious chili cheese corn dog and some Doritos. So let's go ahead and take a bite. These are pretty messy, by the way. Mmm. Especially with the cheese on there, it's really good. And it's got onions, peppers, and it's basically ground beef on top of a hot dog. The only thing that's missing from this is the chili beans, but the recipe that I used didn't call for that. And I'm not a big fan of chili beans anyway. I've always been more of like a fan of um, ground beef topping when it comes to like hot dogs like this so this is fine for me it's really good and hot dog and stuff like that so let's try a chip the flavor of these are pretty close to doritos like i just said but they're a little bit different this one tastes quite as fresh. But these are a good alternative if you want something generic. You can little see those seasonings and stuff on there. They also make um, nacho cheese chips as well. And I think they make like a lot of other kinds of chips too. They have like lime chips and stuff. These are close to Doritos. All of the crunch. <laughs> so overall, this is a pretty good dinner. And I definitely would recommend the chili cheese dog. If you guys want to make it, I'll leave a link in the description below. You, you can also check out ASMR video I did of it as well on the Slimebird ASMR channel. And yeah, not bad. Anyway guys, that's all the time we have for today's What I Eat in a Day video. I hope you enjoyed it and there will be many more to come. Also, if you guys haven't done so, hit the red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive notifications, and I'll see you later. This is Crystal signing off. Bye, birdies.